What's good YouTube? This is Al B back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Oxygen Pro Mini pads with FL Studio. Now the way I'm going to show you is going to allow you to get a really nice MPC style workflow out of your drum pads and it's going to really allow you to tap out your drums and be perfect for live and loop recording. Before we get into it guys, you already know what's up. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button too so I can keep bringing you guys this dope content, all right? Without further ado, this is Al B. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is if you haven't already watched my quick start video on how to get this set up with FL Studio out of the box, then you should watch that. I'm going to put a link on screen and in the description so you can kind of see how to get this set up so that your sliders, your transport controls and your knobs work really nicely with FL Studio. What I'm going to show you in this video particularly is how to get the pad set up um, like this so that you can tap out your drums like a traditional drum machine. Right whether you have sample chops or drum chops or whatever you have, you're gonna be able to trigger those up to 16 channels with your pads using the Albi template. So um, if you haven't already, go download the Albi template. I'm also gonna put a link in the description and on the screen for this as well. Um, and I do also help people who have issues with their MIDI keyboard, so do feel free to shoot me an email, um, drop a comment below. I usually get back to, to people and um, you know as quick as I can. So just you know drop a comment and uh, we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to put a link on screen and in the description to where you can go cop the Albi template that's going to make your functionality work really nicely and now you'll be totally set up and have a really nice workflow with FL Studio and the Oxygen Pro Mini. Alright, so once you downloaded that, I'm going to show you how to, how to get it installed. Um, let's get it. First thing you want to do is go to mAudio.com and if you haven't already, register your keyboard. Once you register your keyboard, you're going to get access to software under My Products and there you're gonna download the preset editor. So the Oxygen Pro Mini preset editor. <clears throat> Once you download the preset editor, open it up and make sure you have already unzipped the LB template that you downloaded. Make sure you unzipped it so you can find it here when we go to load it. So now you're gonna to go to file and go to load preset. Go find the LB template, right? And you're gonna load it and you're gonna know you load it because it's gonna be all red on the right hand side. Once you see that it's all red, now you know, hey, this is the Albi template. Uh, it's not exactly what you see on the screen here. A lot of these values are different, uh, but just know when it's red, in your case, you've loaded the Albi template. Now that you've loaded it, right, let's actually send it to the keyboard. So go to File, Send Preset. You can send it to RAM, right, and that's gonna send it immediately to be live on the keyboard. So send it to the RAM. Okay, that's successful. Now you're going to do it again, go to file, send preset again, and you're going to send it to preset one, for example, which is what I, I pretty much always use here. Preset one, cool, right? Now I should go back to FL Studio. Well, one more thing, here in global, you can set your pad sensitivity, right? I keep mine on fixed 100, so it always strikes at a velocity of 100, it's a MIDI value. Um, but you can change yours to medium, high, or linear and try these different values and see if you like something else. But me personally, I do fix 100. And if I want variation at my drum velocity, I do it inside of the DAW. Anyway, so I just send a preset and then close this out. And now when you come to FL Studio, go to Options, MIDI Settings, or you can just hit F10 and make sure your Omni Preview channel is set to 16. Click and drag over the number and you can set it to 16. Close it out and now your drum pads should trigger different channels. Let me make sure I loaded the preset. All right. So there you go. That's how you do it. You make sure you load the preset, you press and hold down the DAW preset button, navigate to the Al B template, press your encoder and. So just like that, you'll have your pass set up, you'll have your MIDI data separate. It'll be a really nice workflow for you when you're recording and playing through. 
you're going to be able to do all that from the keyboard um really powerful so all right guys that's going to be it for this one i hope you found it helpful if you did hit that like button and hit that subscribe button too so i can keep bringing you guys this dope content all right until next time this is al b and we are out yes sir